welcome back to my channel thank you for everyone that have subscribed I really appreciate it and for the new people welcome as well and thank you for subscribing um, my name is Raquel and I wanted to bring uh, different videos every day um, and I, today I wanted to bring something uh, it's a little bit uh, tricky but it's actually very easy it's a cut crease but it's very uh, neutral cut crease uh, so it's really easy I will show you what items you need to use what kind of stuff you need to do what is the technique um, so I will show you all that in this video also um, you know you can use things at home that you have you know as far as the concealer goes you don't really need to go out and purchase anything um, so yeah you can use stuff from home and you know hopefully achieve this look uh, if not, I will also uh, put the description down below on all of these products that I will be using today as well, okay? Well, I hope this video is beneficial for you and you can learn something today. And if you like it, uh, please give it a big thumbs up. It will help me a lot here in my channel. Um, and other than that, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for coming back. And I will see you all on the next one. Bye-bye. Okay, so we're gonna grab our concealer and mine is by Too Faced in the color Fair. I'm just gonna put it all over my eyelids to uh, use it as a primer. So it gives me a nice canvas for my shadows. Um, I usually uh, try to apply that everywhere and then I go in with, I'm gonna use the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbon palette and the uh, brush number 13 by Sephora and the color at the very bottom Divinity to set that um, concealer on my eye um, just pretty much fluff it all around to make sure it's set then I'm gonna grab my Sigma brush E35 and I'm gonna also grab the shade Mocha to start with my crease so you want to make sure you do it kind of uh, right in between your brow bone and your crease um, you want to just do it in circular motions, sweeping uh, wipe motions, just back and forth, back and forth, you know, blending the product little by little. Don't start with too much, just um, start with less and keep adding on the product. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much going to help you keep that uh, shade in place and very well blended than if you start with a lot of product right away and we're gonna get that to a deeper shade too in just a little bit um, and then right now I'm grabbing a little bit of a taper brush this one is by uh, Tarte it came with my eyeliner and I'm gonna grab a little bit of concealer again this is gonna help us kind of give that cut look on the shadows so we're gonna clean up the crease to make sure that it's nice and defined so what the, the concealer is going to do is kind of like get rid of the shadow that we had under there um, and pretty much just help me cut that color to look nice and even so it's easier for me to apply the, ne the next shade um, so yeah basically you just follow your own uh, crease um, you know and in that way you can just uh, cut it with the concealer and add a shadow to it to kind of pretty much set that concealer as well I am adding the color from the same palette it's sprinkles so it's like a light rosy color so it's very light pink uh, just to make sure that it's set and that concealer won't move out you know anywhere uh, but we're still gonna keep it light and neutral now I'm going to grab my um, pencil brush by um, MAC and I'm going to grab the shade Mounted in the same palette. This is a more deeper brown and this is going to help us cut that crease a little bit more and define it uh, better as well. So you just pretty much kind of keep uh, patting that, sh that color where you kept that, you know, where you had that cut. I grab a small blending brush to kind of blend that color in and back and forth. So if you need to go back and forth, add more product, then blend. So add more product, blend, kind of that's kind of what you want to do. Don't add way too much product at the beginning because then it will be really hard for that to blend in with the rest of the shadows. Um, now I'm going to grab my Tarte 
Pinterest um, eyeliner. It's a clay by, by Tarte. It's in black and I'm gonna start doing uh, my wing. Um, so I do have a link uh, on my description below where I show you how to do a wing eyeliner. So if you guys are interested, um, I'll put it down there so you guys can go and watch it. Other than that, I'm just gonna, you know, apply that wing on both of my eyes. Yeah, but right there I'm adding just a little bit of mascara. This one's by Tarte. Um, and that just helps me uh, blend in the mascara with my lashes later on. I'm gonna do a little bit of shadow under my eyes. I'm using the same shade uh, Melted from the palette just to give a little bit of definition for under my eyes as well. I just wanna, you know, you don't want them to look too nude so you wanna add a little bit of a pop of color in it. Okay, then I am gonna grab a little um, flat brush and add another shade, just a little tiny black shade. Um, and just to define the, the bottom um, shadow. And I did put a little bit of mascara. I don't put a whole lot, just, I just don't like a whole lot of mascara on for those lashes. I'm gonna go ahead and do my inner corner. This one is Artemis by um, Makeup Geek. It's the brand and it was a collaboration with um, Manny Moi. He's a YouTuber as well. So I'm using that to kind of highlight my inner corner. I really love this shadow for highlight. Highlighting my inner corner, I think it's great. Um, now I'm gonna use uh, this nude shade, eyeliner shade by Tarte as well, just to keep it on my waterline. This is gonna keep my eye awake, so it's good for a daytime. Okay, and then after that, I am going to grab the uh, lashes. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna wear the iconic ones i absolutely love them i'm so excited to show you how to apply those lashes um it'll be really quick but i do have also another um video on how to apply lashes i give you kind of step by step uh on kind of what you need to do to apply them but yeah that's pretty much all that it is um and i am gonna show you real quick uh what i did on my lips I added a liquid lipstick by Too Faced calling Feeling Myself and a NYX uh, lipstick as well, uh, Chiral. Thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.